Musselbrook. The sun is setting. Look at that and these beautiful cows. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. Mirundi and we're going to camp behind the pub with our caravan. Just gonna go in and have some dinner. And I wanna take you there. Cutlets, that's ridiculous. They're huge. Oh, I just want to love you, right? Oh, oh, love you till the end of time. I just want to hold you for forever. Every day you're making me better. Cause of love like this is rare. So we've just spent the night at Murundi, which is near Scone. Um, just camped out to the back of this pub, which is fantastic. They've got cabin chickens stay at on a Saturday night. Apparently they have live music. I just want to love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just want to love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just want to love you. Just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost We're just on a little drive and came across this Tarari National Park Washpools campground which looks beautiful definitely would like to come back here there doesn't seem to be any site numbers and this one's got two fire pits near each other so this would be a good one for our family to book the two but I don't know how you book it but it's beautiful got amenities and apparently uh, the wash pools like fantastic in summer just to sit in and cool down a bit like little mini spas very good so this is the rock pool it is beautiful and the water is crystal clear what a great spot to cool off in summertime. Bring your tube, Lilo. Yeah, lovely. I am definitely keen to come back here one day. Look at that, you can see right through to the bottom. Gorgeous. We've just come down where the actual picnic area is. You can't camp up there, but further down there is a campground. Myself, and I'm thinking out loud. 
We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time And I know it so well, I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better gonna get a hot chocolate at the pickled goose cafe at Manoon Flats. I've been feeling so small. Alright. Look at that though. Yeah that's lovely. at Oakdale Brook Camp which is a hip camp that you can book we've uh, got site number two you do have to drive through site one to get to two so site two is definitely uh, more private you won't have anyone passing you here it's also so lovely and sunny look at that and it we are well and truly into winter it's the 15th of July 2022 and um, we're going to get our fire cranking so we can cook some really delicious food while we're here this, for the weekend. We also have a fantastic babbling brook. I think you can hear that in the background. I believe uh, it's very good to uh, try and do some fly fishing here and catch some trout. So we do have a rod. That's going to be quite funny. We've never fly fished before. So I think we might actually give it a go while we're here. It is running quite fast. So anyway, we'll see how we go. Don't feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. Nothing can break me. Try not to hold me. Don't feel alive when I'm in this town. Stars. I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no. nothing can break me ooh, ooh, ooh. So I did a little bit of fly fishing practice <laughs> oh, oh, you caught the ground Because there's a few trees So you've got to get it right when you do your flicking So you don't get the trees object is to catch a few. Here we go. Moment of truth. Will it be a fish or a tree? <laughs> uh, I think it could be a miracle if we catch anything, but yeah, a bit of fun trying. Seems to have caught the tree. So time for a little bit of fly fishing tutorial. Steve's going to try and teach me how to do it. He's um, apparently perfected it uh, two minutes ago. So let's see how we go. It's the same old story being told inside my head. To straighten up my bones and be a man I, I gotta tear this world Oh, oh. 
I think I'll definitely be checking out YouTube to um, how to do fly fishing. I wish I did that before we came away. Anyway, it was a bit of fun. It's a bit of exercise. I would laugh if we caught something. Anyway, you never know. We'll keep trying. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, so welcome to my outdoor kitchen. Um, we're feeling a little bit peckish before dinner. We didn't really have lunch. So I'm going to share with you this really lovely, yummy, warm Mexican dip. Now what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of olive oil. This one's actually got chili and garlic, so it'll add to some spice to my Mexican dish. Put about a tablespoon of oil in. Then I'm going to add some jalapenos. Now this recipe normally asks for two tablespoons, but I used what we had. So I would say, well, it's probably a third of a cup. And then I've used three garlic cloves that I have crushed. Now what I'm gonna do is turn on my trusty old gas cooker that we've had for about 30 years. And I'm just gonna cook that garlic and jalapeno just for a little bit and then get to the next stage of this delicious dip. Okay, so I've cooked that for about a minute or two. And to that, I'm going to add whoop, half a cold tube of um, cream cheese, which is about 125 grams of cream cheese. Pop that in there. And then I'm also going to add about a third of a cup. Ooh, jalapeno going down my throat. Of chunky <laughs> salsa. And I'm also going to add a cup of cheese. Okay, just one more ingredient, and that is thickened cream. Now, I just um, had this from home, but you normally put about a third of a cup. So I'm just putting in what I've got. And then I'm just going to mix this till all the cheeses melt. I've turned my gas down to low. And I love camp cooking. And my husband is so patient to let me do my little cooking segments in our holiday videos. Anyway, I'll keep um, stirring this till it melts. You've got to keep stirring, otherwise you could burn it. So turn your gas down to low and just stir it till it all melts and then we will dish up. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. Uh, you keep stirring till your cheese is melted and then pour it into another bowl. As this cools down, it will actually thicken and it is fantastic served with tortilla chips or corn chips. I got this lovely recipe from my friend Lisa and we're going to enjoy it now. These are really good for either making nachos or uh, having with your Mex Mexican dip. Anyway, bon appetit. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way, I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly Okay, so no idea what time it is But we've had a lovely time It's like 8 o'clock Yep, I think it is probably only 8 o'clock But we've been seen along, having a good time I can get close enough somehow I've managed to capture some of the stars, which I hope to post before this video. 
and we have an amazing roast to cook. We've got veggies, we've got lamb shanks, I've got some potatoes and garlic butter. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, I need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget it. Cows. We're going to go and look for some firewood. We're still in the property that we stayed at last night. Beautiful. Look at this gorgeous countryside. I remember that it's old. Yeah. You never break, you never lie. You never ever scared of the dark. So why am I? The one who cries I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay It's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Stop. Yeah, yeah. I always knew that this would happen. Yeah, you would find a new distraction. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah, you never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I? The one who cries I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah You never lose Well, hi We've had a lovely day Exploring the countryside Got some more firewood So we can have a really big fire tonight To keep us warm Last night was lovely and toasty So tonight won't be any different I hope <laughs> Um, I've made some uh, homemade curry zucchini soup, so I thought with that I might make a beer damper. Um, we haven't got our fire started, so I'm not going to do it in the camp oven. It'll take too long to get the coals ready, so I'm just going to cook it in our little barbecue that's got a hood. So what I've got is two cups of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of sugar, and to that I'm going to add one can of beer. So this brewery is actually down at Brookvale on the northern beaches of Sydney. It's very good. This is an IPA. It's delicious. So all I'm going to do, it's such a simple recipe. I normally just uh, make sure I have all the ingredients in case I decide to do a bread. So pour the whole can in and then we're just going to mix that together. When that um, is dry and forms a dough, I'm also going to add some sun-dried tomatoes and a quarter of a cup, actually, it's half a cup, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Then I'm going to um, form it into a shape and pop it into my lined baking tray and then pop it in the barbecue. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And all I'm gonna do is to finish it off is sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan on top and bake it in the camp oven until it's golden brown. Very easy. And I just used a flat um, bread knife to mix it. So not messy at all on my hands. So it's cooking away beautifully in our little oven, but it needs a little bit um, longer. I've got it on trivet so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Okay, time to check on the bread. Moment of truth. Here we go. Woo! Looks delicious. I think that looks pretty good. I don't have a skewer but I'm just gonna stick this little thing I found in the drawer and that is cooked. Beautiful. It took about 20 minutes so if you're cooking in a camp oven depending on how hot your coals are, top and bottom, or if you're cooking it at home, maybe 180 for 20 minutes. Delicious. I'm gonna serve this with our soup. 
how good does that beer bread look beautiful it'll go lovely with our soup if you want the recipe check out mama gibbo's kitchen on youtube i'll pop the recipe on there delish <laughs> So we've just enjoyed our delicious beer bread and soup and we've got some little visitors up here. I'll just get a bit closer. The countryside up around Scone is magnificent. Our drive today was just amazing. Um, how lucky we are. <laughs> there goes the cows. I speak them. I wonder if they'll come and visit us tonight. Yeah, definitely come and visit the countryside around Scone, Musselbrook, Manoon Flats. Um, it is just spectacular. And you wouldn't believe it's winter, city in the sunshine. It's magnificent. <laughs> Makes you feel alive. We've got lovely little willy wagtails. I don't think you can pick this up. I'll pop a photo in so you can see. Um, yeah, just hanging around the campsite, which is gorgeous. They're very quick, so it's very hard to take a photo of them. There's one just down there, wiggling his tail. Too cute. Got to love country people. We went past somebody's property and they were selling some lovely local produce. So we got these pumpkins. These gorgeous ones in the front were only a dollar. The big one, six. And we got a bag of oranges for three dollars, fresh from the farm. So I'm hoping to make a pumpkin soup when I get home. Yum. Here we are, Steve and I playing cards. And the cows, someone, one of the cows just called out. Then this guy just came running out of the tall grass. Isn't he gorgeous? <coughs> oh, he's not happy with us. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. <coughs> Steve, you don't know what you're saying to him. Be careful. It's a hurt. It's a her, sorry. Get out of the campfire. At least it's not a bull. The family is just through the grass. Over here. I'm not looking at your cards. Oh, this guy, where's he going? Oh, quick. Gonna catch go him. It's gonna go across the water. Oh, how awesome! Are the other ones following, Steve? This one just wanted out, and he's off. He'll probably want his family to come. You'd imagine. Yeah, he's calling back this way. Just move over here. Oh no, he's going up. Said, see you later, everybody. Okay, so the family are listening to him and they might cross the creek further down. Her, I should say, it wasn't him. Yeah, they're going down that way. coals right we're about to um, pop on our spuds potatoes wrapped in foil and get them cooking so we get them nice and fluffy inside 
and then we will cut them and add a really yummy mince filling and some cheese. So a spud. A loaded spud we call that. Or potatoes in the ashes as my parents used to call it. Delicious. You can actually cook potatoes without the foil if you love a nice charcoal -y outside of your potato. Good for your teeth. Yeah, I remember my dad and I would eat the whole potato, even if it was black, <laughs> um, with charcoal. We've just taken some pretty cool uh, star shots, so I'm quite excited about that. Looking forward to posting them probably after this little video. Okay, so Steve, if you want to just um, slice an X in our potatoes and then pop some of that butter that we had out earlier this afternoon for our bread on the potatoes, well and truly cooked. Okay. Mm. So we, if we melt a little bit of butter in it first and then I've got this taco uh, grated carrots and black beans heating up. Is it cooked? Mm. Right, just, yeah, okay. What? You're going to open up yours? Yep. Yeah. And then pop a little bit of this on. No. And then I was hoping just let that melt a little bit. Oops. Yum. So how long do you reckon they ended up being on there? Mm, half an hour. Okay, so Good. then I'm gonna pour this on. You can put your light on if you don't mind. Look. A taco mixture. And then we'll melt some cheese on that. On the top. And then do a fun one to clean. And then, yeah, just with some cheese. Looks pretty good. Fantastic. Loaded spuds. That's what we've got tonight. Pretty easy. You could make the taco mince while you're camping, but I'd do it before we came away. So it was just so easy just to heat that up. Anyway, bon appetit, my darling. So... Just a little review on our dinner. We're sitting now in our uh, marquee, a little cabana that Steve put up and he's put a tarp at the back yeah. here. And I must recommend it for you if you're camping in winter. The fire contains all the heat hey, around us. You don't get the moist air on your back? Yep, no condensation landing on us because yeah. we have a little roof on uh, over us. And the review about our dinner, our loaded jacket potatoes. Fantastic. It took me back to my childhood. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, so we even ate the skins. It was delicious. Yeah. So, again, another little recipe that is so easy to do camping and so delicious. Bon appetit. <laughs> Cheers.
so another glorious day in paradise and we've used our beer bread to make toad in the hole what do you think stevie yeah awesome Fantastic. yum anyway unfortunately we have to go home today but this has been a wonderful sunny winter getaway fantastic And this is site one at Omadale Brook Camp. The gate's just up there, that's where you come in. Steve's just up at the gate. Beautiful. Good hip camp, this one. Okay, this is Manoon Brook. There's a public toilet there. This is a donation um, for camping. So it's pretty nice on the river. Nice little area. If you're looking for somewhere that doesn't cost a fortune, you just leave some money in a little. Um, lock up tin they've got. So we're just at Lingalonga. Which we are. And where is Lingalonga? Look, we've got a fire behind us. <coughs> Lingalonga is with Rundi. So here are the lamb cutlets. And some calamari at Lingalonga. Thank you.